Okay, so I'm not doing great. And then I, oh, bishop, uh, oh, bishop e2 is actually winning? Wow, I'm actually very good at chess. Wow, I didn't realize that. Huh, bishop e2 is actually good. Now, as I recall, this guy's pretty good theoretically. I think that's his biggest strength, this is theory. Okay. out of Bezos' pocket, thanks. Nice shave. Go here. Go here. Go here. And here we see a solid setup from Black. He's going to try to play for e5. Easier said than done because e5, it, you know, you have e5, d, knight, g4. Because if you take back on e5 right away, you end up dropping a pawn as you're showing because the queen takes on d8, distracts the rook, and it's overloaded pieces. All right, the rook is overloaded. This is a very well known line. Anton is a King's Indian player. We haven't seen too many people uh putting on the board a king's indian setup against ikaru's uh patented knight f3 b3 stuff let's see how anton handles it plays a5 okay so i go b5 here now we trade plays a4 which is interesting i can obviously go knight c3 i can also play like knight a3 um it would appear that this guy's done prep which is kind of weird um Knight c3 is a move. Knight c3, a3 is kind of interesting. I mean, I can obviously play like knight a3 as well. I can also just go a3. Um, I don't want to spend too much time. That is the one thing to keep in mind. I guess I'll go here. Yeah, I actually, I thought this was someone else. I thought I was playing the other guy. Um, and that's not to like sound weird, but I thought I was playing, um, I thought I was playing Don Chanko, not Dem Chanko. Demchenko seems to have this worked prepped. out. He's prepped. He's definitely prepped. And I think the Eva bar is bearing that out as Hikaru drops his other knight down to d2. Anton immediately responding with d5, still playing as if out of a cannonball. I mean, he's just <laughs> playing instantly. Bishop d3. I think black is doing totally fine. I don't, I don't know about plus one. Just, I mean, they're easy moves to make. Queen d6 looks pretty nice. Um, you can play a move like bishop f5 even i was thinking about that one that was my first thought but then i got worried that uh, you know if i get double pawns maybe it can be a target but not really after gf5 then you bolster that setup with e6 and then play knight e4 and right black's doing great but he is dangerous i did lose to him in um in uh i lost him in i think one of the, the rccs when i was in germany I, it was a very bad game i think i moved my king earlier or something and i lost um so he is a dangerous player but it's funny because i thought i was playing the other one who i perceive to be far less dangerous than this guy he does have e5 maybe Let's see what's gonna happen okay so it goes bishop d7 very reasonable logical human move um I guess rook c1 makes sense why not seems like a perfectly logical move to play i feel like eventually there might be problems though with this pawn on a4 this pawn might become very weak once he moves the rook i mean maybe you can just go queen b8 or something but again i'm not i'm actually not so convinced by this position for black somehow it just doesn't seem all that uh all that special i guess you could say hmm gonna be interesting to see so he plays bishop f8 which i also don't like by the way um he's sort of inviting me to play e4 at some point it's a question of when do i want to do it or do i just want to play knight f3 knight e5 um i can also play knight c2 and like bishop a3 maybe what is the what is the end game i'm having a hard time uh, grasping the sort of ultimate goal of Demchenko's setup where are his pieces going <laughs> can you help me out yeah i'll try my best so knight f3 is played you can play a move like bishop f5 or bishop g4 so that way his bishop doesn't get locked in but then it begs the question you know why bishop d7 to start with why bishop d7 to start with is a great question and he has wasted a tempo i still think black is doing totally fine here right black is a very very solid but it's starting to seem to me that hikaru is making some progress here he's got a better position compared to the one five moves ago okay goes rook c8 so obviously i can trade I assume that I don't trade actually here. I assume that what I want to do 
I mean, trading maybe isn't so bad, but it doesn't feel right. My assumption is that I should go here and take with the knight or the, I don't know. Take either way. It's actually, hmm, I don't know what the right capture is. I'm going to actually take with the knight. Don't know if it's right. Probably it's not. But my assumption is I can go bishop c3 and maybe bishop a5 at some point. We'll see. See what he does here. Very, very slow game so far, which mm, pretty standard considering the opening. It goes bishop d6, logical. No, I can play bishop a3 to trade off some bishops, maybe. To trade off some bishops. It's an interesting move. It goes knight d7. I think I'm going to do it anyway, just trade off. I don't like my bishop. It's behind the pawn wall, and it seems pretty reasonable to try and trade it off here. I mean, I control the only open file on the C file here as well, so it makes makes quite a bit of sense um, to do this. Plays queen d6, which that does give me rook c7, rook f8. I mean, if I had to choose a side, I would probably choose black. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Uh. Wow. Um. He definitely forgot about that knight. Is there knight d7 first after queen takes f6? I feel like he forgot about that knight and just got fortunate that he's attacking a3. Knight d7. Wait a second. Does white have like queen f4 and then rook c7? And yeah. all of a sudden, black's king is caught in the crossfire. Yeah, I was trying to why? stop you from playing rook c7. But explain to me why Anton is even bothering with this when queen e7 has all of the merits of queen d6 and doesn't allow white to take the knight. I'm trying to figure out if I think I can win that or not somehow. C7, rook f8. F1, queen a2. 7, knight c4. H4, h5. Hmm. Four H five G four. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for it probably. An idea. I mean, there's still so much time that I don't love the idea, but. Queen B1, though, at the end. Huh. Yay! Oh, wait, I have Bishop G4. Wait, I have Bishop G4, maybe. Queen E4. Rook B7. Knight C4. I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to go for this. I have bishop g4. That's that's an actually a very serious that's a very serious idea. Very serious, I think. I am still shocked he allowed Queen Takes. No, he, I'm he, telling you, my theory is that he actually forgot the nine of six is hanging. I just don't see a reality where when you have a choice between Queen E7 and Queen D6, two moves that do exactly the same thing, you choose the one that allows this. And look at him. He, he I, I yeah, you're right. He's he so missed stoic, it. Stoic though. No, no, he, but he put his hand on his head and he's no, calculating. He definitely missed it. He definitely missed it. So he just hung a piece. He's he was attacking a piece, but he hung the knight of his own. So grandmasters, as strong as Demchenko, they do that too, everybody. And this is the sequence I'm looking. I'm interested in. Rook takes b7. Okay, so Hikar okay. plays bishop e2 because I thought that forcing oh. sequence wasn't going to be enough for White. But I think I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to reroute the bishop to g4 and snap off that pawn on e6 exploiting the fact that black can never move the f-pawn due to the checkmate and actually queen, queen takes a2 runs right into that right I, there is queen b1 check and queen e4 that's the one saving grace for black i thought but apparently rook takes f7 oh you evil man you <laughs> evil evil man look at this position you have no way to save the rook oh and queen f5 oh queen d8 check <sighs> but not 
not Bishop takes f5 because then Black can already take the rook. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that is a wonderful sequence. And it goes to show, though, that Black's forces are concentrated on the queen side. So even though there are only three big pieces on the board for white, a queen, a rook, and a bishop, that's more than enough firepower to go after that black king. So uh, right now, Demchenko has to be very careful. He clearly overlooked queen takes f6 because he's been thinking a lot and his yeah. position is just getting worse. So now the question becomes, Danya, that knight on b6, can I play knight c4, hope that you take me on c4 and I get rid of your bishop? Or are you still going bishop g4, taking on e6, and there's maybe not so much that black can do about it? I actually don't know why I play this, though, because I think this is fairly insane by me, to be honest. To go into this line as opposed to just playing bishop f1 which i think was a lot safer i still think i'm okay here but feels kind of scary feels just a little bit scary Trying to think about this line. So instead of knight c4, which I'm just trying to bring a piece over, um, how do I get away with this? I think Demchenko is going to lose this within five moves. Yes, I mean, trying... allowing queen takes f6 but is it, madness. But it's fascinating because to our human senses, it feels like white has just taken over, and Demchenko does not have the benefit of seeing it's only 0.7. So there is a, a saving idea, and there's probably only one saving idea. We want to take this pawn. We showed bishop g4, queen b1, queen e4. That's the instinct, but as you're showing now, queen a1 check, king h2, and then queen a3 to go to d6. I mean, this is not anything that a human just thinks of on at first but drawing the king to a checkable square is very important and of course bishop b6 loses to queen d6 check followed by queen takes c7 or queen takes c6 uh choose your pick but that is such a hard and what makes that idea hard it's, it's the fact that you're ignoring seemingly the threat on e6 right it's just so unintuitive it's not a human instinct to ignore a threat that seems to lead to checkmate and uh, Anton with his back against the wall here. I don't know if he's gonna find this. He's down to three minutes also in the time that we've been talking. Thinking for a very long time here, which I'm kind of surprised by. Actually, the fact that he's thinking so long makes me more, much more confident too that, I mean, I'm connected, right? No, I'm connected. Yeah, I'm connected, right? Yeah, I'm connected. Okay, just, just want to make sure I'm not magically disconnected or something. Okay, so he plays Knight C4. But I thought the problem with knight c4 is that I can go bishop g4, or am I insane? Okay, now I'm up a lot of time, so I can actually think for a little bit here. g4, queen d6, rook b7, looks fine. What am I missing? I actually, I feel like I'm missing something here. I don't understand. But if I take, I don't understand. I should just be up a pawn here. What? He goes H5, which is also a mistake. Cause now I wait, I think my man just completely collapsed. He just lost his mind. Okay. Let's slow down. No need to rush. So rook F7, rook F7, bishop E6. Queen c7, bishop d5. I mean, if this isn't winning, I don't know what is. I mean, he can't go to f8 because I take. c7 is the only square that he can go to. So now I can eat another juicer if I want. Ah, but then he has knight d2 and queen c1. So he has... No, but that's actually no good. I mean, I think he's just down too many pawns here. Wait a second. So wait, if I take on, okay, let me think. Take on g6, king f8 check, king e8, queen takes h5. I mean, he's just losing literally every single pawn on the board here. King e7, bishop f7, knight d2, queen c6 is also winning. 
Rook g7, queen h8 is losing. King g8. Queen eight. I mean, this this has to be winning. He can't block, so I check. He goes here, takes, takes, he loses. So what can he do? King e7, bishop f7, knight d2, queen c6 is winning. Very bizarre play. I mean, he he's very, very bizarre. So right now, white has four pawns for rook, and now it's going to be five pawns, and it's going to be six pawns. <laughs> That's unreal. And if he takes a four... Oh, my god! It'll be seven pawns? <laughs> I've I never seen... I've ever seen... Wait, is it seven? Yes. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I, I've never seen that in my life. I think Ikaro has to try to do it. Bishop takes d5. He's up. Wait, is it actually six, six pawns? Oh my god, I've never seen that before. Oh goodness, it is six. The only time I see this is in games between newer players where one side is completely winning. This is like, no, an attack that instead of taking the rook on f7 has led to six extra pawns. For King one. f8, Anton has to try to unpin himself with Getty Caro to take f7, but it's obviously over. It's queen a3. Okay, so again, I can take, but I can even start to flank with the other juicer now, which I think is what I should do. Um, I think let's just go b6. Yeah, and now I think I take and go queen c5. I mean, okay, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing something, but king d7, h4, king c6, h. I mean, I've just got too many peepos, no? Go here. I mean, it's just too much. Check. Check, and then b7, gg. Yep, and we get the win. Oh, does he have knight g5? And knight f... No, I just go king g3. Yeah. Oh, big win, you guys. Big win. I don't know what was going on there. I'm not actually sure. Um... Well, thank you so much to FD Studio for the 8th, Syntagic for the 12th, and Existent Ghost for the Prime, and Margie Canigo for the Prime. Let me see what was going on here for a second. Um, let's see, what was what was happening here if I look at this? If I look at the evaluation, we go back here. This is losing. Okay, so I'm not doing great. And then I... Oh, Bishop... Uh, oh, Bishop E2 is actually winning? This is actually... Wow, I'm actually very good at chess. Wow, I didn't realize that. Huh, bishop e2 is actually good. I, I For some reason, I thought he could take and go... Initially, I thought he could go, like, check in here. And then as, as I was thinking, I realized I have this line. Um, But I'm not sure if this is actually winning. I mean, queen a5, queen f8, b6. Okay, computer gives it 0. 0.8, so maybe this is actually good. Thank you, St. Louis Chess Club, for the raid with 222. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. Hope all is going well to everybody who's watching the Grand Chess Tour in uh, Bucharest, Romania. We are playing the Rapid Chess Championship right now. I did win, I just did win my first game against Anton Demchenko. Um, so we're taking a look at this game. Okay, so this was, this was just stupid. This just loses. But apparently, this is actually very good. Apparently, Bishop G4 is actually very strong. I During the game, I wasn't sure at all about this, but, huh, it works out. Fair enough. So I actually played very well. Shocking.